which he's worried about because that means he's close to her. <laughs> but the dream, yeah. <clears throat> the fucking fish hanging there. Camping my spot again, these fuckers. <laughs> yeah, she's respected those boundaries. <clears throat> The loan complex has shipped them. We should have a party. Ah, you're right here. Might as well say it one more time. Seven dollars. When did I tell you my full name? I can't wait. And you can hear me say that too. I think I'll write this one for a little longer. <laughs> did you get your man to eat? I did. He finally ate something and now he's trying to get his day together, I suppose. So. Have you eaten today, Miss Bezo? I was hoping to make something later with Gar. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> I will eat though. Don't you worry. It is on my plate. That is something I will be doing today. It's on your plate. We're gonna die, aren't we? Painfully. And I hope I see Gar anyways today. I enjoy cooking was... with him and cooking for people. Really? Mm -hmm. Should be down soon. <laughs> Long meetings and such. Good. I'm going to have to start getting used to that. <sighs> him being up at the keep. <clears throat> well, I hope, anyways. Personally, if anyone is to become Castellan, it should be him. It suits him better than uh, sneaking around people. at night time and interrogating people, that is for sure. <laughs> Seems like my kind of job to do. I'll be out of business if he doesn't stop it soon. <laughs> Are you okay? Make him run off that yeah, 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 yeah. He said there was... There was... Thank God for near the virus. Hey, that was a... There, that's a lie. There's, there's nothing there. Trust me, I was just over there. I would have picked every single one of those up. Oh, that's... <laughs> Did not take you for a gold digger, Miss Bizzle. See, here's my thing. I like shiny things. It doesn't have to be coin. I see something shiny though, it piques my interest, I go and look. <laughs> it's not the bad trick to have. Mm -mm. It's the reason why Miss Torty catches my eye so much. She's very eye-catching. So then again... I like seeing you too. You don't have much shiny on you, but I like being able to point you out. And now it's just you. <clears throat> Shiny is not really my thing, but I'm glad I uh, scratched the itch for you. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> not this is finest. Come here. Huh? Oh. Yes. 
It must be recruiting new people to make up for their losses. So I tried to deceive him, but apparently... Ah, must be. No, Stefano, I have a better idea. Come on. Wait, the pretty lady's name is Basil, by the way. It's a pleasure, Mr. Whoever you are. I'm so sorry, you were in a conversation, I didn't want to interrupt. Hello! It's Basil, I've heard your name quite a few times. Really? Well, I must be Doc yes. of Down. Good or bad? Uh, uh, my, name is, my name is Nasir, and I actually heard your name from Alid, my sister. She's back in town? You're She's si back in town somewhere. Uh, who, who's in town? Your sister? My sister, yes, younger sister. <laughs> okay. It is a pleasure. I was taking care of your sister for a while. Well, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Unfortunately, I haven't seen her the last few days, but she tends to. I haven't to... seen her at all. She tends to keep to herself when she needs to. Sounds like her. I, I think so, yeah, yeah, exactly. So unfortunate. Well, I'm so sorry that the drunk man caused you an issue. I was trying to get him to leave. Not at all. Well, I'm glad to see Gura has somebody to help out in the kitchen. That's he fantastic. He was a little desperate for a job and he said yes, so here we are. <laughs> I see. I see. Well, again. Very good, and I'm glad to see that she's back. I missed her very much. Hopefully she... ...shows face soon. I do miss her. It's only been a few days, but... Hopefully. Hopefully. If you need a drink... I'll be here. Understood? A friend of yours. Good, I'm glad Gur got some help. Yes. Uh, she used to do fortune telling. And one day she decided that she wanted to leave and not be here with her papa, who I haven't seen in quite some time. Fortune telling. I had no idea she had an older brother. <clears throat> she never told me. <sighs> what can you do? <laughs> exactly. Who is this new one? <clears throat> ah, dear, come over oh, here and introduce right. yourself. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure. <laughs> the one in purple wanted to purchase him a while back, so I had assisted. But it seems that she had no need anymore. But now I have somebody I that I have to free. So I am just waiting for the scribery to open up again. Hmm. This is a little easier than Miss Lily's. I hope it works out. If you need a hand with anything, you know where I am. Well, I know where you are. I definitely will let you know. It's true, I never know where you are, and when I need you the most, I don't know who to ask. You could call my name. I guess I'm going to have to. Get used to that. Where should I call it the most, and hopefully... Where do I call Sevatar? Just uh, stand around mm -hmm. and look cute and lost, and I will come and find you. I understood. Then that is what I will do. Very good. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I wish I could show you my leathers. Miss Torty made me some leathers. You have piqued my interest. Mm. Maybe you can come to the bathhouse and I can change into it and you can tell me what you think. Don't mind if I do. Ew. There you are. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> Miss Basil is going to show me her ah, but it seems new outfit. I thought that was like a innuendo for you to fucking or no, something. I... <laughs> if you need a hand getting into it. No, no, no. 
It is very difficult to get in and out of it. I'm still not used to wearing so much clothing. You have my attention. Let's uh, show show it off. <laughs> Is it a swoopy sweet wit? You can come along, dear. Not super secret. I wore them yesterday, actually. Can I? Yeah, of course. I'm not interrupting anything. Start. Start. Yeah, some of the bad men chased me towards the forest where I hid behind a stone fort. Something interesting has come into my possession. Mm -hmm. I tell you about it uh, after this. It has implications. Oh, I love those things. Implications. Things that cause them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Symbolic, in a way. <clears throat> After you two. <laughs> that was an evil laugh. I don't want to go no more. I want to leave. No, no. <laughs> I am definitely going now. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> we are of the same mind. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one moment. We don't even know that. My god, I can't speak. <clears throat> we don't even know each other that well. Good. Stop no, copying me. I thought we were the best of friends. Are we to uh, follow you, Miss Basil? You can if you want to. Don't you start. <laughs> I don't have my fucking chair anymore. I sit on this stupid fucking sofa. Wait. No. Don't mind me just struggling. <clears throat> Aren't we all? Mm. Let's see. I think it's this way. Don't you have an outfit that fits here? Yep. We never wear it for me. First of all. <laughs> I suppose why we are here. Take a look at this. You would see her in full leathers, a nice gambeson, full arms, greaves, and a long pair of pants that she looks absolutely uncomfortable in. <laughs> it is, uh, forgive me, it's strange to see you in so many clothes. I know, isn't it? Show me your stance. Give me one moment here. It's so awkward to move. When I was... <sighs> mm. I see what you mean. It's very awkward to move in it. The more you use the leather, the more it will be uh, bendy. Especially around the joints and such. You will uh, fit it more. No, it was, I felt very stiff yesterday. Same. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, 
you'll get used to it. I think worry. she looks fine. You just need to stop standing like you have a stick in your ass. Yeah. It's, uh, Loosen up. How do I put this? It's... <laughs> it's protecting you. It's very supposed tough to feel on uncomfortable. Me. Just like that. Hmm. Loosen up. Your shoulders, so relax them. You don't want to fit into a natural position. I, I know it's supposed to be... The more you bend. It's supposed to feel like I'm able to dance in it and like... Ugh, it feels weird that I'm not in something like that. <clears throat> Maybe if I just took off these pants and just had the top part. <sighs> does that feel better? Kind of does. I'm not complaining. Uh... Not much protection on your legs, but if you can move. That's true. People always forget their legs. Remember to go through your movements. Try doing your movements while you're wearing it. You'll find that uh, the parts that you use while fighting, you will use while you're doing your movements. It will loosen up the leather and it will melt your body more. Hmm? It'll happen over time, you get used to it. You could also uh, <laughs> opt for a skirt or a dress, like Miss Sarah here. I could. It's a fucking tabard, it's not dress. <clears throat> Tab your bird. I don't wear dresses, you know that. Do we need to talk about something? No. <laughs> oh no, you're, huh. you're having too much fun with me, you're getting a dirty mind. <clears throat> Trust me, that's been there forever. You say something. Nope. Anyway. You're going senile already. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Tell me about your fucking knife. What? This knife is uh is a is, how do I put it? It's like a rank status. It's a status symbol. It is given to only the top performing members of the dread knives. That caused a reaction. <laughs> you see she pulls out a very different dagger. Smaller. The blade looks fluid like water. And at the hilt, you see an ornate spider. I got one of those, too. That is very you. Just not for anything. <clears throat> you think so? It's <laughs> funny you say that. It's a dream of every young drow woman to own one of these one day. Well, congratulations then. Thank you. Is that the one you threw at? Not to steal your thunder, but... No, no, I'm happy for you. Oh, f oh no, you don't use this one. Not in combat. Hmm. My point being, if you... I'm trying to put my makeup back on too while you were talking. See another person <laughs> carrying something like this, do let me know. It has uh, worse implications. Sure. Let me get a better look at it. It is <clears throat> a dagger. The blade is blackened. In fact, all of it is blackened. The hilt itself is two black serpents curling around each other, going towards the hilt. They come towards the hilt, and encrusted in the eyes of each of those serpents is a red gem. Quite frankly, the fact that it was uh, in a simple trader is nerve-wracking. You don't uh, give these away. Hmm. 
It has me thinking. Congratulations. Well, those are my lips. Thank you, Miss Bezor. It was a wonderful show. <laughs> It'd be a lot more fun if we were just, you know, staying without all of the clothes on, but you know. I'd be happier if you didn't need them, but <clears throat> they do look good. Thank you. What can I say? What can I do for love, you know? It's stupid. I got them mostly because someone bought them for me. Intends to protect the surgeon. And yet he won't even buy himself a gambeson. He works in mysterious ways, I suppose. He's just an idiot. I'll have to make him buy him one later. <laughs> I love the man, I can say it. Does he even need Gambeson? I heard uh, a once fatal wound was mm. not so fatal. You never know how many times you can do that in a day, though. Especially with what you all do. What everybody has been doing. You can say that again. You could get another one right after. That will be prepared. Well, hold on to him closely then. Just in case. That's what I'll do. If I have to take one, I will. If it's another crossbow bolt, he's not getting shot again on my watch. Though then again, that happened yesterday. And I got stabbed again. Guess it's time for me to continue training more. I am tired of him constantly getting hurt. And acting like nothing happened. Perhaps you could learn a thing or two about uh, stitching someone back up. It's always handy. I've been trying to learn. The, we we had this thing going before we started seeing each other, which is he was supposed to learn how to take care of someone's body the way that we do here, like massages, knowing pressure points and stuff like that. And he was supposed to teach us how to bandage and how to sanitize certain things if somebody was getting too rowdy. And well, he hasn't done that part. But he knows how to do a really good massage now. Thanks to yours truly. Hmm. Yeah, that's more of a selfish investment on your part, right? Fair enough. Well, if I need to get a thing. massage, I will go find Soma then. Oh, no, wait a minute here. Up there. Why was she up here before? Something just came to my mind. I just want to make sure. I'll, I'll find out why she was up here earlier. More problems with the girls? When my girls decided, with one, being disruptive and not understanding when's a good time to laugh and when's not a good time to laugh, so. I see. When your daughter's dead next to you and you're covered in blood, that is not a good time to laugh. Seeing two people crying on the bed, and you come in and look for things. It's not a good time to stay in the room and look for things. So I want to know what she got, so I'm going to have to find that other girl. Oh well. Well, if you need a hand with anything. You know where to find us. Yeah. I might uh, take my leave then. Well, I know where to find one of you. She can always find me. I guess as you requested, I'll have to look cute and lost and go, Oh, Savitar, come and save me. And my ears will prick up and I will go, My basal senses are tingling. I must disappear for now. I will see you around.
keep an eye on her new blood. Keep her out of trouble. Oh. I gotta make sure I <laughs> don't have the accent. I'll be right back, chat. <laughs> I would love Savitar to drop a smoke bomb, just... She was. 
was in a cult and you're in a cult. People think I'm in a cult. Whatever, whatever. Hey guys. He's just busy. Pull up a chair. I I you, talk you talk to cat. You, you talk to cats. So you're clearly I, I a cult. Hear, I hear the she's a shit with us. I'm looking for Sarah, actually. He suggested thinking of a And don't forget we're getting drinks and swapping stories. Definitely. You were upset what happened. Did they discover another secret of your cultism? <laughs> Hi. Oh yeah, Sharif, he's in a cult. But he... I always knew it. Yeah. <clears throat> I knew it. I fucking knew I'm it. I'm on the edge. To be fair, I am sitting this way. I can't, I can't believe he's done this. Is he in on your cult? Is that why you mean? No, she's not in the cult. Shurik's 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 not in the cult. Is that a... Maybe... Sometimes it takes a couple of swigs to actually get you attuned to it. Hey! <gasps> oh god, I hate all of them. Oh my god, uh, please don't crash on me. <laughs> part of a cult uh, now. I feel warm. I'm not part of a cult, god damn it. Mm -hmm. It burns a little bit and then bubbles um, and then they'll sit there and then, then you're gonna find get the feel chance, fun. I need a brand me. <sighs> Sarah, you can already yeah, feel a little once bit we of the get the four drop and running again, I'll add that to the list. Alright, I'll get the design to you when I can. A little tipsy, you got it. For the next 15 minutes. <sighs> <clears throat> Miss anything? Mm. Nope. Tang fucking scammed me, yo. Tang scammed you? What, what the fuck? Let's go beat him up. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, like a fucking forever ago, he yep. was trying to convince me this one gem, uncut gem he had, was worth at least <clears throat> three fucking silver. So I traded my elven fetish for it because you know I don't really need elven, elven fetish. Huh? People like gems. It's a little thingy that uh, wards away evil. It doesn't work, obviously. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Elven fetish. It's a little, it's a stone with a wreath around it and stuffs on it. Apparently, it's called a fetish. <laughs> anyway, I gave Tang my elven fetish, and he gave me the gem, and it, uh, it, it is supposed to be like worth a fucking three silvers. I learned the gem is worth seventy coppers. <clears throat> That's it. Who told you it was seventy that copper? Fucking little bitch. Tang. Uh, Vez. Are you sure Vezrin uh, yeah. didn't fucking Buddha scam you? Walking into a building. You... What? I mean, I just Tank fucking treated them to a fucking a fuck expensive life. ass sword, Jackie so I hope he didn't try to scam me. Hi. Because I needed to get into the apothecary uh, to talk me? to Jensen about something incredibly important. Okay. So he, but he threw me out and threatened if anyone tried to come through the door again that he would kill them. In all seriousness. Yeah, they've been a little... Off. Imps go home. Yeah. I've been a little off today. My my, my book of book of mercantilism says says yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't three. To be I'm off. sorry. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what the fuck? I mean. I don't know. I guess like she's going to the imperial. Warforged having an off day is a problem. Well, it's all of them. They've all been yeah. really, you know. Yeah, um, an myself. Imperial and a Wood Elf both told me they'd kill me if I walked in the door. And I told them that, you know, death threats are like a daily occurrence here, so I don't really like, it doesn't really phase me anymore. <laughs> yeah, like, fucking threaten something else, like, like yeah. you'll like, rip your clothes up or something, rum, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> are we sharing yeah, we rum? I'll take your sword and never give it back. No. If there's yeah, any if you want some, I'll give you some. 
I have plenty left though at my place. Don't worry. So I still have real like threat, a, right? Let's see. I, you know? I finished the small keg yesterday, so I still have a little bit of the barrel left. Yeah. That's the longest I've been Sevita for like ages. <laughs> goes down a little bit easier than before having become acclimated to the taste it is definitely very sweet and very alcoholic strong take it oh you didn't mm -hmm. backwash did you fuck you kyler you I take show the both of you by the rum immediately drink it down it's hot and smooth and sweet and leaves a nice aftertaste you can feel the burning <clears throat> heady alcohol feeling immediately swim to your head Woo! needed that fuck what i don't get any yeah mm. i thought you liked wine more go for it of course he fucking does i'm acquiring a taste <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Vezrin taking a swig, it once again is burning, sweet, tastes like sugar cane. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I want to show you two something. Oh god, put it away, Vezrin. Back to the cuddle cave. To the cuddle cave. To the cuddle cave! It's called the cuddle cave? That's generous. Well, you if you want, but That's you know, generous, Sarah. <laughs> He went. Oh, sorry. Much better, yeah. More like. <laughs> Boink. Boink. What? Boink. <laughs> sorry, what? Are you, That's okay. I You'll get the feeling you're older. Something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna show you anymore. Fuck <laughs> off. Get the fuck out of here. You can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> it's closed. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it is. It, was it opens <laughs> outwards. Open the goddamn door. Not inwards. Open the goddamn door. Open the door, Vezrin. Get inside. Open the door. Open the door. Fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> oh. You fat bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fat? <laughs> fat? Oh my god, don't fucking hit him. That's <laughs> right. He has, like no body fat on him. Vezrin, you came here to show them something cool. I, I, I did. They've been making it horrible. Before, I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. Yeah, I'm gonna touch it. This is this is I'm actually gonna... something very cool. It's not what I want to show you, but Markel found this sword in Wainwright's Emporium, and I bought it off of him. It's a silvered steel long sword. Okay. A long sword made of steel. As he with stand silver here, along the sure. edges. Looking at Mirandel talk about something nobody cares about. <clears throat> Your dagger falls on the ground, a loud clacking noise. <laughs> That's weird. Whoa, what? butterfingers. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's supposed to be good for fighting um, monsters, right? That's the legend, so I'm going to test it out and see if it has any merit. Uh. When we find more monsters, which I'm yeah, sure don't... we will. Are we sitting here? Are we going somewhere else? Sit. Go, go, sit, sit, sit. Perfect, perfect, sit. wonderful, yes. Yay. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying some new tech. Can, are you going to sit? Mm, nah. <laughs> <clears throat> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put something on. I gotta do something. I gotta do something. Do your thing. I gotta. Uncut gem. It looks bluish, and it is slightly glowing. Oh no! <laughs> it's a shiny rock. What the fuck is that? It's glowing. What are you yawning? It's a His experiments. What did you do, Sarah? As you say this, and people all take their own assessment of this item. You more than anyone know what this kind of thing portents. From the 
outside of this rough, uncut sapphire emits a dull but I don't want to dim bother and sickly this. glow. One that you know all too well, one that you've seen time and time again, whether it be in Vidaria or elsewhere, or perhaps in your dreams. You know what it means, and you know what Are it you is. Are a good person? I found a way to separate myself from the ritual. Meaning I can more or less reliably charge this. And I've been getting better at it. Okay. The killing people I heard was a bad thing. So then what? Okay. Are you able to just... I mean, would you prefer the Capitano to be still here? I don't know him. I can use this... Like how we used the tablets. So are you like hero? More crude manner. And I'm not sure if the effects remain charged over time, as we saw that one that we had so made before. As cursed as it was. Eventually faded. I'm going to see how long the charge lasts. If it dissipates at all. I mean, more experiments have, from there. Have you killed people before? I might try etching the runes from the tablets onto this oh, chest. So nice. see Guys, look, my hands are charging, and I'm not like plugged in anywhere. Yes. <clears throat> oh, I would need it to be discharged before I did that. As the last time we tried to tamper with one of these things when it was full. <laughs> Do you know what these what runes represent? You're just gonna etch random things into something that you have no idea. Like this I've transcribed thing. some of their literal meanings, actually. Actually, Vezrin, you should take a look. First of all, yes. what the fuck? It's just haughty being haughty. Right. Okay. Yeah. Second of all, if this is the same thing as those tablets, last I heard, you had to like fucking kill someone to charge it. You don't need to kill someone, but it is life essence. What the fuck does that mean? He killed a rabbit. Again. He killed the rabbit? No, not no, the rabbit. Not Sir Lexington's still rabbit. It's not a, Sir Lexington. And his new friend. A wild hare. Well. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, uh. Next question. Why are we doing this? I mean, it's it's. What did you what use the tablets? For? Well, it's fucking cool and all, but what do you intend to do with it? To keep us alive and safe. How? What did you use the tablets for? Uh, one at a time, please. What did you use the tablet for? You remember the archways we spoke of? Yes. Tablets, when charged, could open the archways. It acted as a battery. A what? A battery. A, a receptacle <clears throat> that stores magical energy for use at a later time. Mm -hmm. Alright. So you can open question, one of those archways with that? I can use things like this to charge different magical artifacts that we either need to use or must use. Do we have any of those? I do. Did you not notice yesterday when we were fighting? I went shiny and blue. N no. Nero I... went for her throat. Or was that a different time? Yeah, arrow at the throat when we were in the, the center area. And then it was uh, <clears throat> crossbow bolt to the chest, I think, or uh, axe to the chest. I can't remember. Something made me go blue when we were all fighting the, the Capitanos oh, and stuff. Oh. Once I would have killed her, but never fight. Interesting. Did it just change time? 
Did it just become evening? Yeah, yeah I think we it might did. have some places to be. I don't see it. All right. Oh yeah, there's a thing. Hmm. Not only that. Oh, the one at the door. I successfully transferred essence from I one pull. rabbit directly into another one that was wounded, and it healed it. Yeah. You think this uh, okay. is going to be a definite boon for us, and it's not going to blow back? Uh, do I reset? There we go. Just reset. Yeah. There's always a chance something goes wrong. Every time I wait, there we go. wait, wait, wait. Hello there. You Hello. transferred energy. Can I help you? I did. Yes. In the sea visitor. Always fucking something. I would Do I know you, sir? Who are you? Oh. No, but you well, will know him. Don't even bother. Let him in and close the door. Come on in. Mm. Key? Sure. All right. <clears throat> I figure now would be as good a time as any to talk, considering everything is quiet now, and everyone can relax and mourn in peace. Please, come have a seat, Merendel. Oh, get your hand away from your blade. Relax. How long have you been sitting here? Long enough to hear some weird words about energy transference and things of this sort. <clears throat> I don't care. Your secrets are safe with me. My god, man, sit down. You are so I heard on edge. The next time you said that you saw me, you would kill me. Well, someone convinced me you might be a little bit more useful than dead. So you have them to thank. Sit down, Vesper. Tea? Unless you rather die, I guess. No, thank you. Perfect. <clears throat> Anybody else? I understand else? that's... You have your hands in a lot of little cookie jars all over the province. Torty? Seems to be kind of your M.O. Left over from your Adwick days. But you're doing well for yourself. I applaud you. Go somewhere, make it yours, survive. Nothing wrong with that. I'm sure you remember when you... <clears throat> I departed Adwick, you fucked a lot of things up, especially for myself. Nothing great, mind you, just things that set me back that was a pain and more people had to die. And that fool lord started poking around. <clears throat> Only you kept your fucking nose out of my business. But the past is the past and water under the bridge. We have a mutual interest, you see. Something I realize that is a problem for you, that is something I want to thank you, sir, deal with. <clears throat> now, that being the case, there is a few questions I have to see where you stand on something. And if we stand on the same side, then we have no problems. And if we don't, well, that's why he's here. So, let's get down to business. I don't want to keep things tense. If you keep scowling at me like that, my flesh might burn it. Not poisoned, is it? No, of course not. <clears throat> So, I have heard, because you people are not really quiet, 
Now, there's a bit of a shake-up in the province, and unfortunately this shake-up has attracted some unwanted people. The captain here was very foolish. He stuck his dick in things he shouldn't have, you see. And now he's pissed off a really old family in Gorakatus. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of them. But they would be so much of a hassle if they decided they want me dead that I would probably leave Gradia for at least a century. Easier than taking the time to hunt them down. He's pissed them off, and with his death, they have no one to blame. So some of the Dread Knives are coming this way to find out who ruined their product and the way things are coming and going and why the spice is no longer flowing. Now, you know from Adwick that can be a problem, a big problem. But you see, them being how they are, they fuck the wrong people over. The Dread Knives have been foolish enough to make an enemy out of myself. So, this is where our paths converge, my friend. These Dread Knives are going to come here and obviously find out who did what and where with all the descriptions. Bloody wagons coming in and out of town, shipment going missing, and the same people being seen around them. Same people connected to the Carter's Guild and to the Forge and to the Quill and Blade, whatever it may be. That puts targets on your back. They don't care if they're right or wrong. They just want to send a message. You know that. Mm. And a message they will send. <clears throat> I don't think <clears throat> like them. I was fine with doing business with them for a while. But when they thought it was in their best interest to dick me over, well, now I have to kill as many of them as I can get my hands on. So they're going to come here in mass. And what I plan to do is to kill them as they arrive. As many as they send, over and over, until it gets so costly that they just consider the province lost. <clears throat> now as a courtesy to your friends, they for whatever reason seem to want you alive. I will say this one time and one time only. You stay out of my way. You don't get involved in my work. You don't sniff around dead dread knives. You don't get involved with the dread knives. Because if there's a connection, I will kill you. And you, and you, and you, and definitely her. Are we clear with each other? Are these real threats, or are they, like, the rest of the people threats? Because th they threats. say that every day. It's real. Right. <laughs> so you see, if there is no interference, you have nothing to worry about. I don't want to destabilize your province. I don't care about the weird shit happening with the drow and the elves. None of it. I just want my revenge on the Dread Knives. It protects you, and it lets me get what I want. Easy? Simple? Any objection? No. See, we could wind up being friends if you even tried. Wouldn't try it if you tried. <clears throat> I'll sweeten the deal. Just to make it clear, you don't have to worry. Once I'm done with this, and it's out of the way. One favor. I hear you want to start up a business. Business makes people rich. I happen to be starting to get short on coin. I would like to be in on this business. If you want it to be clean, sure, whatever, don't care. I just want coin. I will give you one favor for whatever it is you need. You stay out of my way and help me fill my pockets. You've seen what I can do. 
Lord Hartford thought I was lying. What do you get out of this? Aside from your Quite. revenge. When you're alive for thousands of years, Mr. Thessalor, things get dull. You'll try anything for that flare again. Anything at all. I haven't been able to find much to give me that flare anymore. It's all been so dull. But you, wherever you go, someone wants to kill you, someone wants to hunt you. Things, people. You've got my attention. I just want to see what happens to you. Don't want to be a part of it or cause anything. But I want to see if you raise to something interesting or crash and burn. Entertainment, I guess. Fine. Hopefully, I can live up you to your are... expectations. You are a sensible elf. And here I thought perhaps you had not learned. You look a lot different in the face now. A lot of the youth is lost. Look more serious. I can only imagine what you have gone through to get to this point, huh? Who knows, Mr. Thessalon? Perhaps. <clears throat> in the days to come... We might find a use for each other. As well, I don't care about some of the stuff in this province. Some people other than you might get in my way. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Bottom line, I don't fuck with you. You don't fuck with my shit. Oh, and if you see a slave that has a mall that's being forced to fight as a gladiator, you might recognize him from Adwick. A friend of mine, name of Cassius. He might be brought here. <clears throat> if you get him out, I'll pay you a lot. Good friend of mine. Very well. It was a pleasure, Mr. Thessalor. And other elf. What's your name? Markle. Markle, thank you for the tea. No one ever shows hospitality anymore. I'm grateful. No. Oh. Is this the, uh, oh, is this the drow halfway house now? Hangs in the room as the man departs. Interesting friends you have there. <clears throat> How long have you two known that he's here? If I said anything, he'd kill you. And Torty. Couple well, he'd start days. with Torty, and then he'd kill you. Alright. Actually, do you have the recipe for that tea? Uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, it's actually some herbal stuff we get at, uh, there, there's a bunch of plants over there. On the hill, it's uh, it's right beside the beehives. You can go just go to go pick it there. Thank you. Well, interesting fellow. Thank you. <laughs> what? 
You forget. Never mind. You're going to make me laugh. Why are you saying thank you? That was absurd. I know you're the reason that he's not killing me. Could have been Shariq. Maybe I wanted you dead. Nah, Shariq wants me dead more than you do. Is that so, Shariq? I don't know, I like to keep people on their toes. Take it as a hour by hour thing. But if you take my horse again, I don't know. I'm going to tell him that you're fucking with his business. <laughs> he took his own goddamn horse. That's not a real thing. <clears throat> Best friend, don't fuck this up. I'm serious. Listen, he made himself completely he clear. I don't intend to mess with his business as long as he stays out of mine. Keeps his word, which I don't believe he has any reason to go back on. Hmm. None of us can stop him. If you fuck up. Listen. Dread I mean, knives. His, his demands were out clear. Of Just stay out of his way. I'm perfectly fine. fine not getting involved. He is a good ally to us, as long as we stay on his good side. Well, if he was really going to kill me, he would have just done it then and there, so... I suppose... I've known you've been here for... weeks. So you told me. Awfully quiet, Torji. How are you um, doing? Uh, fine. Just drank you. That's all. <sighs> well, I'm sorry, Torji. I'm with good sir. Plants under the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's evening, and we have somewhere to be. All of Plants under the fucking window. <laughs> Well, it's evening, and we have somewhere to be. All of plants under the fucking window. <laughs> oh, it fucking worked. I'm a genius. Let's go. Draw magics. I thought go. Why'd you throw it? Didn't throw it. You threw it at Torty. Rude. Trying to think of what's at hand, getting to the funeral, getting to the ceremony, just being present, trying to pay respects, but somewhere in the back of your mind, you know, you know that that man, there's no telling how long he was in that room. There's no telling what he heard. The Viper, the Joker in a game of chess, someone who plays his own game, someone who doesn't align with any of the pieces on the board if anything that he said was even remotely true if anything that he was alluding to was true that he is actually thousands of years old there's no telling how many people he's killed there's no telling what he's done there's no telling what he might do at any time moment to moment a man who does what he wants takes what he wants and fucks who he wants. Hello, Marcus. Great to see you. How you doing? You're all right. Yeah. Uh, you right Just I was press the dread knife button. Gaggle at the fucking Marcus forge again for no reason. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I should be fine. That one. Something anyone needs. Set up at the moment. Or are we just standing around? Mm, just. We are waiting for the service. 
It's going to happen at the Woodcutter's Lodge. You're welcome to make your way over there whenever. In fact, I recommend it so we're not all, you know. Then go swim for Miss Basil to come out. She's working on Hey, is everything good? Player characters, please be advised that the funeral for Sif will be happening this? momentarily. If you want to be part of it, please make your way to the we'll logging camp. Hmm. Just checking in. Yeah. Want to ride with me? Always. I think it's time. Is she already there or is she inside? She's inside. Look it off, ghost cat. Yeah. I'll do it this way. Not my iced tea again. What are you doing on Vesrin's horse? Oh my god, you guys are insufferable. Don't make me tap the sign. I'm gonna go fucking kill Vezrin's fucking horse. It's called Areola, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> right. I'm gonna make it limp. He's gonna have to put it down. Does this look stupid? You better be honest. No. Good. What are you doing? Straddling my fucking desk for this. Making it look realistic, instead of sitting on it like a fucking idiot. No, if Tazim came back. <laughs> nope, I have not seen him. Hmm. What's been going on with the apothecary? I heard you guys were in lockdown. A meeting. Hmm. Apparently Tang threatened to kill people. I'm sure your father would have as well. Um, yeah. Not arguing the morality of it, just curious. No, I'm pretty much telling you who was that, in a way? Kyler, you would know that you would be transporting Sif's body by wagon at the request of your father. So we... We go? A wagon will be spawned... Where's my fucking dead? Ducks. 
Do I have to wait for him? Or is he gonna be there? Oh, you are doing it at the request of your father as he is currently setting up the funeral pyre. I worked so hard on this positioning on this horse. I appreciate it, Sarah. <laughs> the wagon's being set up at the moment. Hmm. Good. Yeah. It says, uh, I'm to get her helmet since I can't wield her axe, and Aenir wouldn't want something dwarven made in his halls. <laughs> Oh. And if this Yarla, I believe he's pronounced, Yursa comes down to have her teach yes. Dredge the way of the Northmen. Yursa? Very well. And in that case, oh, I... this would you mind help me getting her in the cart, please? I got you. <clears throat> You should give this to Tazim, so he can read it too. You might be expecting Lady Yusa at some point. He is hoping. Yeah. Would you mind? Uh, she's... I'm not that strong. <laughs> is the card ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I believe so. Good. Okay. <clears throat> You would see her holding Sif's helmet in her hands. Yep. Got the wagon moved to where it needs to be. Thank you. I'll ride with you up front. Appreciate it. Yeah. What size is the wheel on? Right, okay. left. One, two, uh, three. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay. I shall ride in the back with her. Understood. <clears throat> I'll go get my horse. Everyone aboard. I can ride to the side. One moment. I'm crooked. <clears throat> I'm ready. So am I. Someone's gonna have to open the gate. I'll get it. No, Thank you. <sighs> Excuse me, you all. Can you open the gate, please? <clears throat> Helping Basil out over there. I'll be okay, Paul. I guess it went off by itself. Is there not spaces on the wagon? It's me. I'll scout ahead. Out ahead. He's not a scout, he's a knight. That doesn't make any sense. Not from Boston. <laughs> this isn't a beach. She does look beautiful though. Basil did a great job.
What was that stupid fucking song Tiff would sing here? Man on the Buffalo. Man on the Buffalo. That almost made me cry. I'm done. Fucking ghosts in the woods. <clears throat> oh, I see them up there on the hill. Mm. Get the wagon as close as we can. Great driving skills, by the way. Thank you. If you want, you can get down and help when no turn or move the cart. It's okay. Alright. I made sure that she looked high as before. I fixed her hair. I think it's even worse. I fixed her more paints. It's certainly becoming an acquired skill. I think she would have preferred to be bloody. How the fuck do we get off this thing? There we go. There's a button right there, yeah. Thanks, Steam VR. Super cool.
I'm gonna fucking lose it. Motherfucker. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. They're still chopping. Yesterday, does it? Feels like it was ages ago. <laughs> I hope I still have a good job. No, it's uh, you're so much better. I have grown in my I think the first time. I Watch your word. I'll show you over here. Would you help me hammer this down in? Right. Then I'll come back and talk to you. Just in case the doors are on the side. Clifford, bring the resin, please. She has it. Barrels of resin will just generally spread them along the side. I'll take one of them. Take no. the other. That's their day. Right. It's <coughs> like nobody I've ever seen before. Any last words, one at a time. Now is your moment. Go ahead and go see your respect. Come on, let me send one piece to you. Don't everyone go at once. Always been very kind to me, and always says thank you. I've not talked to him anymore. I'm sure he does. I don't know where you're supposed to be going now, but I hope you're happy there. Thank you. Last time we spoke, you looked at your god and what they valued. Not what you gave. I'm sure you have all the glory you could have ever wanted. You know your god is dead. I hope you rest well. Bless.
perfect. For all of us, each and every person is so special. I you did what I mean Lord I you would know that you would know that these flowers are unique. You know where they came from. These ones are just regular ones that you can see. She was so so strong. I'm glad I'm not the only one that brought I'm so kind. Someone like you. I hope. It's not fair. I hope your days come bright. You know, when and I talked to her about why she was here, her reasoning was not so different from mine. She was out there to help our tribe. Are you sitting these flowers on the ground? <laughs> I see. I was supposed to be behind. Good flowers should never burn. I expect you to melt all these sweet hills that you have to be here. This light will grab your head. All the stories I had heard of your people. All the stories I had heard of your homeland. To find someone who was both mighty and gentle opened even my eyes. And made me question many things I thought absolute. Little of the 
learn my weakness, but there's one thing not fun to learn about looking for the rest of my family at the Vanguard Beach. I'll keep you out of her face for the rest of the night. And I will make sure to keep all your teachings to heart and keep learning. And I'll learn this is right. I'll miss you so much, sir. That feels good. I've had these fucking arm straps on for like the last three or four hours. I just took them off. Did you bring my armor in the cart like I asked? 